Hey everybody, uh, it's Rachel Hawkes. Welcome and thanks very much for joining. Uh, exciting little video today because I am joined by my lovely friend Melinda. Hello. And we have come to sunny Denorlan Park in Tunbridge Wells. We're actually in pretty much the only shaded area of the whole park this morning because the sunlight kept doing very strange things and we were squinting and blinking. So um, here we go. I thought it would be a really great way for my audience, my group, and um, those who know me to meet Melinda and find out why we ended up writing a book together. Because it happened very quickly and has been a massive joy. Uh, we still haven't got a copy, so we are waiting. <laughs> um, but I thought it would be a really good way of, rather than me telling you about her, for her to speak for herself. So, welcome. Thank you for having me. Yes, it was really quick. I think we started in June and were published in September. September. Right, that's a really fast process. But it was so fast because it was just such a natural connection. Um, I work with essential oils. I'm an aromatherapist. And in particular, I teach aromatic anchoring, which is the concept of connecting a thought or a state of being to a specific scent and the translation into mindfulness and particularly mindfulness for children was just the natural next step uh, we see all of the time in social media and on the news of children not being able to cope with the stressors of life uh, horrible things i've seen just in the last week yeah um starting off school again right starting off school uh I've heard about schools that have rooms specifically for children to have meltdowns because they can't they handle it. <laughs> Absolutely. And yes, we can teach this to adults and it can have an impact, but if we can teach this to children and they can grow up with this, yeah. then we we've, the next generation. we've changed the whole world. Yeah. Absolutely. And so this book is all about the basics, the beginning concepts of teaching mindfulness to children and anchoring that to essential oils, teaching them how to focus on their breathing when they feel overwhelmed, teaching them to remember a happy time or a happy memory when they feel sad or isolated. Just those very basic concepts so that they begin to be in tune with how they feel and to give them something to manage how they feel once they've identified it. Yeah, brilliant. Um, and we started off having a very simple conversation and I immediately said yes because what Melinda didn't tell you is she's also a published author in her own right and has had a huge success with her book Aromatic Anchoring and the book is fantastic by the way so if you are interested in essential oils and what they can do for your health I would highly recommend I'll put a link in as well to, to the book but it does seem to, it was one of those eureka moments that as soon as Melinda said to me would you fancy doing this? I kind of went, oh, look how they can come together. And she was like, I know. Um, so she was very much a, I can see it immediately. And um, I was then thinking, how, how would this work? And it literally, they, the reason the book happened so quickly is because they fell together so perfectly in the partnership of the oils and the mindfulness. And working with the expertise of Melinda and everything that she brings into that, with the background of just introducing mindfulness to children because a lot of people don't know where to start a lot of people have a, have misconceptions that children are going to have to sit on the floor in a full lotus position chanting om um i'm will always be battling that preconception because that's the preconception of adults and of course kids have no preconceptions because they don't know what it is and they're open right so embracing that openness and using such a powerful tool as aromatherapy with the techniques of mindfulness. So in the book, you will find breathing techniques, visualization techniques, affirmation techniques, and they're all linked within not only the mindfulness techniques, but embedding that aromatherapy aspect in. So I can't wait for you guys to read it. Honestly, we are super excited. And the other thing that's coming out of that as well is we will also be running workshops and classes and teaching other people to run workshops and classes. Um, I mean, Melinda, you've had a brilliant review from somebody in your group. Maybe you'd like to explain right, it's, that. We both just went, <laughs> It's, it's great. such an interesting thing to know that there are almost 500 people who have already purchased our book. I know. And we still don't we have, have We don't have it. <laughs> we don't have copies. So the, 
the gift of that is that there are people already enjoying this book and reading it and uh, one of the concepts we have in the book is about teaching children gratitude which I think is so important for well-being for that sense of entitlement that people are concerned about all of the many layers of what gratitude can do for us and this woman has already created her own workshop for parents and children to do a gratitude workshop together where they'll do journaling and talk about what they're grateful for they'll um, anchor that to an essential oil and then do some mindfulness activities so she's already created her entire workshop by some book yes and we love to see so, that creativity happening as people read it and see this is how i can apply yeah, it to my absolutely. life and my profession uh, absolutely so um it's a starting point the book is only meant to be a starting point it's literally a little pocket book but just to give you some ideas if you don't know anything about essential oils if you don't know anything about mindfulness and you just want a little snippet of where do I start? What do I do? Um, there's nothing expensive you need to buy. It's not one of these ones that, great, sign up for that, and then you've got to get all this raft of equipment. It is literally you, your kids, and some oils. What could be better? Um, I so, think that was important when we designed it absolutely. to make it very small because nobody wants a book this thick and they have to read all of that just to figure out mindfulness. Yeah. It shouldn't be It shouldn't yeah. be that complicated. It does kind of negate the benefit of doing the mindfulness if you've got to trawl through all the research to find out what you need to do. So this is just a little snippet for you. Um, we will put the link up to the book. You may get it before us still, who knows? <laughs> um, but thank you very much, Melinda. Thanks uh, for having me. It, trust me, it's gonna be the first of many projects. We'll, we'll say no more, but there's other things coming. <laughs> Um, thank you very much for watching and links to everything will be underneath and we will catch up with you soon. Bye!